Hey, it's Joel. This giant metal box next to me is 2014's Cure for Boredom, the Flash Forge Creator Pro. It was also my very first 3D printer. Yes, I still have it. It was a gift for my wife and kids, and it's what's responsible for this YouTube channel. I'm sorry. Flash Forge knows that I like this machine. It was my first one. They've since updated this line and evolved it to the Flash Forge Creator 3, an impressive machine that they were debuting at Rapid TCT 2019 in Detroit, Michigan. Thanks to Flash Forge, we were able to make the trip. They invited us out to take a look at their booth and see the cool stuff they had to offer. Sean and I also saw all sorts of really cool stuff at Rapid, and you're gonna get to see that, but right now, First, let's take you on a tour of the Flash Forge booth and have a look at the Creator 3. I do want to thank Flash Forge for bringing Sean and I out here to Rapid TCT in Detroit, Michigan. And I saw the Adventurer 3 and I knew you were going to ask, so I asked them. And there are updates coming to this machine. I know that I released the review and I said I would reach out. Those updates are coming and they will be coming to me and I'll be able to talk about the machine and what the updates do. Uh, but that's for a later video. Let's go talk about the Creator 3. The Flash Forge Creator 3 is quite the evolution from the Creator Pro, which I do have at home. And to talk about the Creator 3, let's just start with the enclosure. It's a fully enclosed machine, and it's got a giant metal frame. That means it's really sturdy, and moving the table isn't really going to affect your print quality. Moving up from the bottom, we have these large buckets. And these large buckets and these wipers actually interact with the dual independent extruders. Each one of these can extrude a different color or a different type of material and then they wipe on these little wipers back here when they need to clear the purged filament. The build plate itself is not automatically leveled, but it provides a calibration routine, and there are two screws at the bottom that you turn. And what's great is the machine will tell you how much you need to turn each one. Going up to each of the nozzles and the extruders, these are stainless nozzles, so you can put through PLA, ABS, PTG, wood fill, metal fill, or luminous materials from Flash Forge. You can also use third-party materials on this machine. It doesn't stop you from doing that. The materials are stored in the inside and they are accessed from either side of the machine. This is a touch screen at the top and it allows you to start, stop, and do everything you need to do with this machine. Connectivity is easy because you can stick a USB stick in there or you can connect it up via Ethernet or Wi-Fi. And inside this enclosure, the build volume that this is able to use is 300 on the X, 250 on the Y, and 200 on the Z. The Creator 3 has two exhaust fans and each of these fans is powerful enough to take out all sorts of air from the build volume, but also on the inside are two HEPA filters, so it's filtering the air that comes out of the enclosure. The machine also features a flexible build plate, but we're at Rapid TCT here in Detroit. It's currently printing, so what we're gonna do is pause the print, take out the plate and show it to you, and then we're gonna put it back in the machine and hit continue, and it should keep printing. I hit pause. So the extruder's gonna finish up any of the commands that it's currently doing, and once it finishes, it'll park itself over here. It'll make a fun little sound when it's done, and then we can, oh, let's see, there it goes. There it is. Let's open this up. Oh, that was easy. Look at that. That's huge. That is a that is a fantastic build plate right there. And it does flex. It flexes a little bit. So it's still hot, and this is a very flat piece, which isn't done. Which means that uh, I can't really break it off. But now here's the test. Is that magnets right there that it's held on by? So the build plate is held in by these little uh, posts that slot into place. There we go. I'll close that up. I'll hit OK, or no, I hit play. Resuming the build. It's wiping the nozzle. It's bringing it back over. And it's printing just fine. Look at that. Actually, that worked. That's really great. <laughs> Fantastic. So print quality on this machine is gonna be something that you're obviously going to want to consider. I'm gonna have one of these at the studio soon, which I'll be able to do all sorts of really cool prints with it. But I did look at this earth. It's very green and round. I mean, we all know the Earth is flat, but this is the round representation of the Earth. And uh, green, is it? it's a green PLA, yellow PLA, and this took 21 hours, and it's, that's clean. I live there. You're over here? Is that right? Okay, yeah, just right there. Cool. I need to ask you, what's a frock? It's not just PLA that this machine can print. These are what are called frock clamps, which I'm told are in the automotive industry. One of these is in, what is it? It's PETG, which I think is the black one. Is that right? Yeah. And then the white one is a nylon. And up close, they look 
they look really good. And I mean, they're in use, so this machine is producing functional parts. Honestly, I am excited about this machine. The FlashForge Creator Pro is what catapulted me into YouTube, and this is just the evolution of the next best part of the machine. Independent dual extruders, better than side by side. I'm just, I'm excited about this. A big thanks again for FlashForge for bringing me out, and this is going to make a lovely addition to the studio. I'm really looking forward to putting it through its paces and showing you what it's capable of. If you've made it this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. I love you all, as always. High five. I love you. Rapid and TCT in these shows are very fast moving. Everything's going on. There's lots of other prints by this machine here, but one of the ones that caught my eye is this. I didn't know what this was, but this is Gustavo from Flashforge. This is a Chinese chess set, and he's going to tell us what all of the different pieces are. Yeah. Actually, uh, it's a kind of a game similar like the Western chess. I think some of the guys uh, who know about uh, uh, Chinese culture have already already played with this. This is a we can say we can call it a king or general, uh, okay. and these are small soldiers. There's elephants, uh, and these are the close guards of the general or king, and then uh, cavalry, cavalry, knights, and cannons. So now, what Gustavo said is maybe they could send me this file and maybe I would get to learn how to play Chinese chess? Yeah, uh, absolutely. Uh, it's a very interesting game. It, you can play at home or play with your friends. I'm looking forward to it. Thanks, Gustavo. No problem. Thank you. And then we gotta wait. There it is. 